This is the Yushang F06 135 Eurocopter. And um, this is the remote. They simplified the remote, I think, to make the helicopter cheaper. It also doesn't come in a nice case, it comes in a box, um, which is fine. Um, a, lot of, a lot of complaints on the remote, though, because um, the controls aren't marked. Like, this one up is manual mode, down is optical mode. Um, long press on this is um, throttle lock. Quick press is throttle unlock. Um, calibration, you push this stick up and this stick down. I already did it. But when you do this, when you first turn it on, this light blinks red and then it goes out, it turns green. That calibrates the uh, the gyro. Um, I verify that the controls are going the right way. To start it, both sticks down and out, and then a little bit up, and then it'll go up. So I try this out and see how it goes. Atomic batteries for power, turbines to speed. Hold up. Lift off. This is uh, the optical flow and gyro. A little bit of wind today. Blowing from the south. Spotlight on the front. Now this does not have GPS. It's uh, what they call 6G gyro. Six, six directions of correction. Nice looking helicopter. The uh, tail motor is a lot quieter than the uh, FO9s. It's got a little bit of whine, but it's way quieter. I like the uh, controller on the FO9s better. This feels a little mushy. It's a game controller. And they don't give you the option to set it up on any other controller so far. At least nobody is reporting how to do it yet. That's uh, it's holding pretty good in this wind. About, we got about 10 mile per hour wind right now. I like how the uh, the rotor on the back is clear. Kind of um, hides the fact that it's an actual propeller on there and not the, the uh, propeller inside the fin.
Let's see the battery lights. Bottom. Charged them up last night. Kind of curious if it has an alarm or not for the battery. That's a lot quieter than the FO9s. This is really a good helicopter for anybody who has struggled with like the blades and stuff and just can't do it. This one gives you a little help. That gyro is really, really quite good. Trying to keep it close here. Sideways a little bit. Other side a little bit. Get, get going pretty fast if you uh, put it on manual mode. Right now I have it on the optical. Optical, all it does is samples the ground with a laser, a little optical laser thing to uh, kind of tell how high it is. I don't want to put it in manual mode right now because it's kind of windy and I'm maidening it. Got a nice spotlight built in on the front of the nose instead of hanging one off the nose, off the battery, like the F09. This time it's built in. You can see it right there. Oh, got a nice warning on the uh, battery. That's like the only thing I don't like about the uh, F09 helicopter is there's no warning on the battery and that Black Hawk just goes down when it's dead. Not a bad little hook, huh?
lights off. And a little bit of a fingernail to get that off. Mm -hmm. Nice helicopter. Check these that I had charged last night. This is full. This is the other one. These when you, they just have a uh, um, phone jack charger for like the newer iPhones. Um, it's the rounded one, um, and this this will go across just like a DJI battery until it turns solid green. It has a power jack for camera, but um, the cameras, the camera that came with the F09 was, it's analog, it's not great, it's no, G, no DJI when you're used to that, so. And there we go. This is the F06. EC-135 Eurocopter, made by Yushang.